Hi there. Today we are going to learn about XV6. Now XV6 is the modern implementation of 6th edition Unix in ANSI C, but if you're watching this video, I know you're just trying to get XV6 compiled and that's what we'll do right away. Now there are only three things you'll be needing. First is a Mac or a Linux computer. I'll be using a Mac, but the steps will be about the same for Linux, they're just the commands that differ. The second thing you'll be needing is a keyboard. You won't be needing a mouse unless you want to copy paste your commands from the web. And the third thing you'll be needing is a hammer to hit enter key really hard. Let's start by opening the terminal. And if it looks ugly like this, then please go ahead and customize it. Once your terminal is customized, make a folder to store your xv6 source code. Next thing to do is to check if you have the Xcode dev tools. If you've been using a C compiler, that means you have them. But since I don't have the Xcode dev tools in this computer, I'll enter GCC in the terminal. Now the dev tools have been installed, I'll test it by compiling a random C file. Now it's time to download the source code for xv6. This is available in a public git repository. To download it, you enter git clone and then the link for the repository. You can find the link in the description. Press enter and it will download all the files. Now it's finished downloading the files. If we do ls, you can see there's an xv6 public folder. Enter that folder. And these are the files that have been downloaded. If you notice, there are no .o files or object files. At this point, what you would want to do is enter make. So I'll just enter make to show what happens. Now you can see it's given an error. Couldn't find an i386 star elf version of GCC bin utils. Elf stands for executable and linking format. What this does is it um, creates object files for all the respective C files. And um, to get this to work, you'll have to get the x86-64 version of GCC elf because i386 is an architecture from 1985. We'll be needing a package manager. And for that, we'll uh, go to homebrew. The website is brew.sh. And we'll copy this link and go and paste it in terminal. However, keep in mind, just pasting this will give an error. That is because you need sudo access for your profile. On this Mac, I don't have sudo access, so I'll log into the profile which does have sudo access. Now, if your computer only has one profile, then that's probably going to be a sudo profile, so there's nothing to worry. So now I'm in the profile I need to be. I'll repeat the same process. Copy the uh, link from brew.sh and then go and paste it in terminal. And it should start downloading brew. And now it's done downloading homebrew. Once it's done, we'll be downloading QEMU, which is the emulator, along with x86-64 elf GCC, which will help us link the files. Keep in mind that to execute these commands, you will still have to be in the sudo profile.
So now it's done installing x86, 64, elf, gcc and qemu. So we can return to our current profile or if you have been doing it on the same profile then there is no change to make. So now with the x86, 64, elf, gcc installed you can go and try to make your file but don't hit your keyboard with a hammer just yet because as you can see the same error shows up couldn't find the i386 version so to fix this you'll have to change the environment variables using the export command you'll have two commands first is to export tool prefix equal to x8664 elf type it exactly how it is or you can copy paste it from the description next you'll do export qemu equal to qemu system x8664 and now we'll do make and now the x86 kernel has successfully compiled so just to um, check do ls and there are a lot of new files if you want to see all the new object files do ls star dot o and you can see them also make sure the kernel is there with ls kernel now to run xv6 you will have to use the uh, qemu emulator so go ahead and enter make qemu nox nox is there to tell qemu to um, run it on the same terminal otherwise the default is to open on a vga terminal and it's compiled and xv6 is up and running Now the first command you can try out is ls and this will show you the uh, 21 commands in xv6. Remember this is not the um, bash terminal ls command, this is the xv6 one. This list would show you um, 20 commands but there's also cd which it doesn't show. At this point you can try out commands like mkdir and cd and just uh, look at how they work. If you've been asked to compile xv6 then you've probably received an assignment telling you to change the source code. So in that case there's not really much to do here. If you want a video on how to change the source code then I'll make that too. Now to quit xv6 press ctrl a and then press x. You won't see any prompt on your screen but don't worry it's going to work. And that was all for this video. Thank you for watching, I hope you found this useful. Now not all of this works in um, Linux as it is and um, there might be some commands which you don't have to do, some commands, with, some extra commands which you have to do which I didn't mention. So I'll be working on an xv6 comp compilation video on Linux 2 so make sure you subscribe to see that and uh, thank you for watching, see you again soon.